Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I am super excited to show you this 2022 Dodge Challenger RT Scat Pack with the 1320 drag package on it. This car is stock number 22D168. It has the 6.4 liter V8 Hemi 392 engine. Puts out 485 horsepower, 475 foot-pounds of torque. And this specific car has a quarter mile time of 11.70 seconds at 150 miles per hour, making it the fastest naturally aspirated street legal muscle car available. Um, I'm gonna go all the way around in this video. We're gonna go over some of the things that make the 1320 package special. Uh, this one is in hell raising purple which is paint code PCD. If you were curious, uh, Hell Raisin, one of my favorite colors on the Challengers. We're also gonna take a look at the original window sticker. We're gonna start it up, take a look under the hood, and I'm gonna show you all the features that go with this 1320 drag package. So we're gonna get started right away with the original window sticker and let's get to it. So let's take a look at the original window sticker here. I got a lot of information that I'm about to give you. So. Definitely pay attention now, and right after this, we're gonna go start it up and take a listen to that exhaust. Uh, you can see it is a 2022 Dodge Challenger 1320 package. The uh, color is Hell Raisin, Hell Raisin exterior paint, black interior. It comes with the Alcantara Napa Performance Seats, 392 V8 SRT Hemi, uh, torque flight, eight-speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left there is your standard equipment. So a Hell Raisin, Exterior paint is 395. The 1320 Plus group gives you the ventilated front seats, the Alcantara and Napa performance seats, door trim panel with ambient lighting, premium stitch dash panel, radio driver memory seats and mirrors, um, power tilt telescopic column, and the driver convenience group gives you the high intensity discharge headlamps, the power multifunction mirrors with manual fold, blind spot, rear cross path detection, and locking lug nuts. So the 1320 package though, uh, is what really makes this RT Scat Pack um, the special package, which is $3,995. Comes with the drag mode performance pages, which we'll check out in just a second. Uh, the 1320 illuminated air catcher, 1320 fender badges, IP badge, speed limited engine controller, Dodge Alcantara performance steering wheel, drag mode suspension, active dampening suspension, 27540R20102Y uh, drag radial tires, 20 inch by nine and a half inch low gloss black drag wheels. And uh, it does come with a one year NMCA and NHRA membership. Uh, you can visit dodgegarage.com for that information. And trans it comes with the trans brake, which is a class exclusive on this car. Uh, and we'll go over a little bit more of that stuff. Also comes with the Harman Kardon audio group with the uh, subwoofer, 1795. Torque flight eight speed is 1595. Power sunroof is 1295. Satin SRT performance spoiler is 995. The Uconnect 4C with nav is 90, 995. And the red brake calipers are 595. Total MSRP on this car is 62,285. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60. And if you want to get your summit price on this car, if it's still available in the upper right hand part of the screen, is a link to our website with all the pricing and incentive information on it. So click that. Um, there's your miles per gallon 15 city, 24 highway, 18 fuel economy. I wonder what it is at the track um, for fuel economy there. Anyways, um, overall vehicle score five and four stars up and down the board. So very safe vehicle. Now, up here, I have. I can thank uh, Mopar Insiders for this information. Um, I got this right off their website. So it tells you everything that is special about the um, 1320 package. If you didn't know what 1320 means, it's uh, the feet in a quarter mile. So 1,320 feet in a quarter mile. So you can see it comes with the torque flight, eight speed automatic transmission, the trans brake, locks the output shaft of the automatic transmission to hold the car stationary before starting. And that is a class exclusive um, torque reserve works in conju conjunction with the trans brake and launch control by managing fuel flow to cylinders and controlling spark advance or retard to balance engine RPM and torque to maximize power delivery and launch performance. 
Comes with those Nexon drag spec 27540 R20 street legal drag radials, especially developed tires that deliver exceptional grip at the drag strip and on the street. Comes with the SRT tune three mode adaptive dampening suspension. Uh, includes drag mode that when engaged optimizes weight transfer to the rear for best launch traction. Standard interior configuration. So this car comes with, um, or at least it can come with no interior seats except the drivers um, but this one does have all the seats obviously with the uh, 1320 plus group um, and then it does have performance tune asymmetrical limited slip differential with 309 final drive extreme duty 41 spline rear axle half shafts adapted adopted from the challenger srt demon has line lock which engages the front brakes to hold the Challenger RT Scat Pack 1320 stationary, but leaves the rear wheels free to, for a burnout to heat up and clean the rear tires. Launch Assist uses wheel speed sensors to match for the driveline damaging wheel hop at launch in milliseconds, modifies the engine torque to regain full grip. Launch Control controls tire slip during straight line acceleration, and then those uh, wheels are knurled bead seats to minimize tire slip on the wheel also has the Brembo high performance brake package with four piston. The other thing I wanted to show you is on page 19 of your performance features guide, it's gonna tell you your braking period. So unfortunately, we're not gonna do any driving um, with this car as far as dragging it, because it only has 14 miles on it. But there's a reason, because there is engine braking recommendations from Dodge uh, for the 6.2 and 6.4. Zero to 100 miles do not allow the engine to operate at idle for an extended period of time. Press the accelerator pedal slowly and do not more, um, and not more than halfway to avoid rapid acceleration, avoid aggressive braking, and drive with the engine speed at less than 3,500 RPMs and maintain speed below 55 miles per hour. So that's in the first 100 miles. So this being only 14 miles, we can't do really a lot of fun stuff with it yet. And then 100 to 300, there's more limitations there. And then 300 to 500 are your final limitations. And then lastly, uh, do not take it or participate in track events, sporting driving schools, or similar activities during the first 1500 miles. So you gotta drive it 1500 miles before you can take it to the drag strip. Anyways, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of information there. I know that was a little bit of time. So we're gonna start it up now, and then we'll take a look under the hood. Thankfully, this one has the automatic transmission, and I got the remote start here, so we can be back here when this starts up. And uh, here we go. Sounds really good. Love those LED tail lamps. All right, so we'll hop in here. We'll actually start it up and then we'll take a look under the hood. All right, now the car is actually started up. Love that 1320 Rumblebee drag logo. And under the hood, we have the 6.4 liter V8 Hemi engine, 392 cubic inches, 485 horsepower, 475 foot pounds of torque. Nothing too special under the hood here. There's your emission sticker. Did want to show you the inside the air duct there. Get the little Rumblebee drag logo as well. And that is on both sides. All right, let's go check out the radio and the performance pages and all that fun stuff.
All right, let's uh, turn the ignition on here. You get the 1320, once again, Rumblebee drag logo there, the seven inch LCD display. I'm dim it down just a little bit. So this one comes with the standard 8.4 uh, touch screen. Uh, one thing quick, the Alcantara suede wrapped steering wheel. That's pretty sweet. Um, anyways, comes with the 8.4 touchscreen radio. This is the 4C radio. So nothing too special about the radio other than, you know, like the normal 4C uh, functionality, AM, FM, Sirius, the factory nav. It does have uh, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, where you can project to the screen, all that good stuff, your backup camera, all that good stuff as well. The uh, 1320 plus package gives you the heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, all that good stuff. So you'd notice that you have super track pack and drag mode. Uh, this the option is only available on this car. So anyways, we'll go to, it's gotta be in run. So here's the performance pages. Uh, current mode is default. Everything's normal steering or steering is sport mode. Uh, you have line lock, line lock is ready. You can activate, activate line lock control there. You have launch control. You can change your RPMs where you want it to uh, rev at. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, and then the other thing is when you do drag mode, um, you press that and everything changes up there to drag mode. So um, engine and transmission is in drag mode. The suspension is sport and the steering is in drag mode as well. Um, so I'm sure that turns on the launch control and everything that you need to accelerate. Uh, the other thing is up here, the only way you know if it's in drag mode is it says drag right there. And unfortunately, we can't do any real tests with that because of the break in period and all that good stuff. And I advise the same on your personal um, 1320 package or any SRT model you may have purchased recently. So you get the logo right there as well. And uh, yeah, that's you get your performance pages here as well. We can check those out. Those take a second to load. So we'll start it up and then you can see it actually working here. So right now you got horsepower, G-force as I rev it a little bit. Now obviously we're keeping it below 3,500. Um, you have timers here, you have gauges, oil pressure, oil temp. Um, you can actually go to that particular temperature, which is pretty cool. Go back to the other ones. G-force, obviously when you're accelerating or going around corners, uh, and then you have your um, engine, oil pressure, foot-pounds torque, horsepower, all that good stuff. And then it does come with a dyno as well. So you can see the RPMs there. And I never get them up over 35. Anyways, also where your backup camera shows up. And that works nicely. So like I said, a lot of cool stuff you can do with this car. The other thing that says 1320 on it is the key fob, which is pretty cool. And you get remote start on there. Anyways, I'll take a final walk around here with all the lights on so that you can see um, the car with all the lights on and do a final look at that Hellraisin. Um, didn't, never did show you the metal flake to it. So it's got blues, purples, pinks, and reds in that metal flake. Really a cool color. Um, one of my favorite on the Challengers. And we'll do a final walk around here. Love those LED tail lamps once again. This one does have the HID headlamps on it. And thanks for checking out the video. Hopefully, hopefully it was helpful and enjoyable. Love that front end there. And to see more pictures of this car, one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, sports cars, Challengers, Chargers, you name it, we got it. Go to that website right there, summitauto.com. 
full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications. You'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Challenger videos like this one in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. And we're super excited to be offering the 2022 Dodge Challenger 1320 edition in hell racing purple. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.